This is Bridge with Stephen from the Lake Chapala Duplicate Bridge Club. Today we're going to tackle the uh, topic of week twos. Week twos are limited and my only preemptive two level opening bids or jump over calls that have little defensive value. We're promising a six card suit. Um, the range that you choose to use um, is, is up to you. I've chosen six to ten here, but five to eleven is as common also. Six to ten high card points, most of them will be in your long suit. Um, and this means you won't have an, two high cards, like an ace and a king, outside of your suit. You also um, should not make the, uh, uh, the weak two bid with a void, and you shouldn't have more than one singleton. And we're advised not to do this with a four card major. But I should um, add that uh, uh, Larry Cohen will break both of these rules. He will open a weak two with uh, a void, and he will with a four card major, especially if it's very weak like maybe four um, hearts to the nine. So there are different opinions about um, this, but this is the most commonly given advice. Now we're going to look at suit quality and hand quality separately. First we're talking about just the six card suit. Next we're talking about um, how the whole hand looks together, all 13 cards. Um, this is a good way of looking at uh, or describing suit quality. An excellent suit is a six card suit with three, uh, with all three of the top honors, the ace, king, and the queen, meaning there are no losers in the suit. And this would be a, a typical suit that fits this in description. We call the suit good if it's just slightly below this. We've got two of the top three honors, meaning one loser in the suit. And here would be three examples of such suits. This one has the ace and the king, but not the queen. This one has the ace and the queen, but not the king. And this one is missing the ace, but has the king and the queen. So these would all be considered good suits. An intermediate suit is slightly worse than this. It would be two of the top four honors, or maybe three of the five. So there's going to be two losers in this suit. And then finally, um, the weak suit, um, two, two of the top five honors, or maybe even worse than that, meaning there's two or three losers in the suit. Um, would you open a, a weak two with a suit headed by the jack? Well, if you would, you would call that a, a, a weak suit. Now, hand quality. A minimum week two opening a bid or jump over call will have closer to the six point range and will have, typically have nine losers. This would be a, a typical hand. We would, if we open two spades with this hand, um, we would call this a minimum because we have two losers in spades, two in hearts, two in diamonds, that's six, and three in clubs. That's nine losers and four, five, six high card points. Typical minimum week two. The average week two opening bid will be about eight points and eight losers. And this would be um, a typical hand that would fit into that category. We might open this hand two diamonds. We've got um, one and four, five, six, seven, eight points. We've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight losers. Okay? Average week two opening bid. And then finally, a maximum is uh, 10 points and seven losers. So um, this would be um, such a hand. We've got an ace, a king, a queen, and a jack, that's 10 points. We've got two losers in spades, one in hearts, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a maximum um, opening, uh, opening or two, uh, week two. Now, when do we come in and make a week two opening bid or overcall? Well, two factors that will be um, uh, considered it are going to be the vulnerability of the position as well as these factors. When we're vulnerable, we prefer um, to be in the high end of our 6 to 10 range. And this little plus sign up here after the 8 means a good 8 to 10. Position. If we're in first or second seats, we should never, um, we should not open weak twos with uh, weak suits, suits um, with only two of the top three uh, honors or worse. Personally, I prefer that the suit be at least good. I would like to know that partner has two of the top three honors when partner makes a uh, week two bid in first or second seat, especially if vulnerable. Okay, when we're in third seat, um, funny things can happen because partner's already a past hand. So at this point, we can adapt our, um, our criteria for bidding. We can, we can bid with hands that are stronger or weaker than we would normally. So for example, uh, with maybe only four points and uh, uh, six spades to the ten, if the bidding's gone pass, pass, you might open that hand two spades anyway, because you know left hand opponent is planning to come in. Um, if you're so weak and the two players before you have passed. On the other hand, you might also make a weak two bid. Uh, for example, partner has passed, right hand opponent has bid one diamond, and you have maybe uh, 
11, 12, 13 points. You might still jump to two spades with a six card space suit, just uh, be interfering. Because once again, once partner is passed, you can play these uh, hands a little bit differently. Now in fourth seat, we don't make a weak two bid. If we make a two level opening bid in fourth seat, we should be stronger than the six to 10 that we would have for a weak two. If you have a six to 10 point hand um, in the fourth seat in a six card suit, just pass. Um, you'll probably do better in the long run taking the zero than the likely negative score if you open the bidding there. Okay, but this will usually be a six card suit too. If, if the bidding goes pass, 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 and you're four seat and open two hearts, you should have a six card suit with uh, uh, 10 to 14 points, a good 10. Now we're gonna look at um, the week two bidder's uh, partner's response and the week two bidder's first rebid. First, I want you to look at this abbreviation RONF, which stands for Raise Only Non-Forcing. This is probably the commonest way to play responses to weak two bids. What that means is that um, any bid that's not a raise is forcing. So if you make, let's say, a two heart, a weak two heart opening bid, if I bid three hearts, that's not forcing. If I bid four hearts, that's not forcing. Raises are non-forcing. In fact, raises um, should be passed. But new suits and no trump bids after, say, your two hearts, if I bid three clubs or two no trump, those bids are going to be forcing. If we agree to those rules, then we're playing what's called raise only non forcing. And it should be noticed, as I said, raises not only should be passed, they probably must be passed. If you bid two hearts and my right hand opponent makes a takeout double and I bid three hearts, I'm doing what's called extending of the preempt. I am not inviting you to game. You should never raise that to four hearts. Okay, because the weak two bidder never bids again unless forced, and that's true with any preempts. If we were talking about three level opening bids or, or even four level opening bids, we don't make one of those bids and then make another bid again unless we're forced. Okay, let's look at the um, options for, uh, for responder. Responder can make a simple uh, raise, say two spades, three spades, and as I said, we call that extending the preempt. It's basically just intended to keep the opponents out. It generally shows about six to 12 points. And this might be a typical hand. Partners made a, a weak two spade opening bid. You got three card support, nine high card point, points in the form of three kings. And so you raise the three spades. Remember, partner is expected to pass that bid. It's not an invitation. Or we can make a jump raise. Suppose partner um, comes in, makes an opening bid of two hearts. We might bid four hearts under one of two circumstances. One is when we're weak. We're making a preemptive uh, bid. We're promising four card support, and we're not expecting to make this contract. We're basically um, sacrificing and using up as much space as we can. If the opponents want to come in now and bid four spades, um, they can try that, but that might not be a good place for them, and uh, we have successfully preempted. On the other hand, there are times when we would bid um, up to the four level expecting to make the contract, and that's when we have a strong hand and a lot of people like to use what's called the rule of 17, where they add up their high card points and the number of support of partners um, long suit that they have, and if that total is 17 or more, then they will raise to the four level, assuming we're talking about a major. Uh, you probably don't want to do that if the suit is diamonds. So for example, in this hand we got three, five, seven, 10, 11, uh, 14 points. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 high card points, and two card support for partner's hearts, so 15 plus 2 is 17, so the bidding might go two hearts, four hearts. Now, here's an exploratory bid, um, two no trump. It's forcing because it's artificial. It's not an invitation to play no trump. It has nothing to do with no trump. It's just basically asking partner uh, to describe his or her hand a little bit better. And it should probably have about 16 points. You're interested in the possibility of game or maybe even slam. So if, if uh, the weak two better has a minimum, six to a bad eight, then uh, the weak two better rebids the long suit. So two hearts, two no trump. With this hand, three hearts. On the other hand, with a maximum of good eight to 10, um, some people like to play this as saying, show me a feature. What do you have outside of your long suit? that I might uh, need to use as an entry to get over there and run your long suit, say if I want to play a no trip. So um, eight, eight good points to 10, ask the uh, week two opener to uh, show a side suit ace or king of any by bidding that suit. But having no side suit ace or king, bid three no trump. 
So for example, suppose your hand was nothing but uh, six hearts to the ace, king, queen. You have an excellent suit, you've got nine high card points, um, but you don't have an outside ace or king, so if, if you had opened that suit with the two level part of the two no trump, you would then bid three no trump. Okay, and another option is that uh, responder can bid a new suit. Of course, this, this is natural. It's going to be showing a five card or lower suit. It's forcing because we've agreed that only raises are non forcing and everything else is forcing. And this is a little bit weaker than this um, two no trump, which was, was showing about 16 points. This one can be done with just an opening hand. And we're exploring for um, maybe a better place um, to bid, a better place to, uh, to play. So opener raises or splinters with three card support. What I mean by um, splinters is bids a third suit. Suppose I'm, I open two hearts and you bid two spades. If I've got spade support in shortness and diamonds, I can now bid three diamonds and we can agree that that's a splinter. It's showing three card support for your suit and, and side, shoot, side suit shortness. Without that side suit shortness, I would just simply raise your suit. It would go two hearts, two spades, three spades. But that's showing um, support. Absent that, if you can't do that, uh, open or rebids his or her long suit with a minimum or three no trump for the maximum. So it's a little bit like uh, what we just discussed up above here. And then finally, um, pass is always an option. Uh, partner opens two spades and you've got this hand. There's no point in bidding three diamonds now. There's no point in bidding anything else. There's not really much hope of game and it's very unlikely you're gonna end up in a better place than two spades. So uh, uh, just go ahead and pass this bid. Now the, uh, the last topic we're gonna discuss is how we uh, defend against the opponent's weak two opening bid. Uh, your right hand opponent is opened at the two level. One option you have is to make a takeout double, which says that you're short in their suit, and you have support for all in bid suits, which is what any takeout double means, and that's not different now. Now, this is an interesting and easy convention to use. Leave and solve um, after takeout doubles of weak twos. If the partnership plays this, this is an option. When advancer bids two no trump, advancer bids two no trump when weak, so the bidding might go two hearts to my left, takeout double over here, pass, when I have a weak hand, I'm going to bid two no trump, and I'm expecting the takeout doubler to bid three clubs. Two no trump is a relay to three clubs. And then I either pass that if that's my suit, or I correct the diamonds or spades if that's my suit. Um, when, when the opponents are bidding hearts, I would not be bidding hearts, it would either be diamonds or spades. And you have been alerted to the fact that I'm weak and you should pass, because I made the leave and solve two no trump call. On the other hand, when I'm stronger than that, and I might even be interested in game, um, I will bid my suit directly. So left-hand opponent makes that same two heart, weak two opening bid. Partner makes that same takeout double. Uh, opener's partner passes. And if I bid three clubs, three diamonds, or spades directly, I'm saying I have a better hand and I'm inviting us to go on. Okay, um, another option that we have when defending against a weak two is to make a, a suit over call. We're promising a five card suit. Now if we make a non-jump over call, um, if we can do that at the two level, a weak two diamonds from the opponent, two hearts, we need 10 to 15 points. If we have to go to the three level, say the opening bid was two hearts and we want to show diamonds, um, this is also a non-jump over call in a new suit, but we need to be a little stronger. So we probably want to be about 13 to 15 points if we're making this bid at the three level. These are the, the non-jump suit over calls. Now here are the, uh, the jump over calls in a new suit. If we can do this at the three level, such as two hearts from the opponents, three spades, this is showing the hand that's better than this one, 16 plus points. There's also an interesting bid here for showing two suited hands. Uh, this is a form of what's called leaving Michaels. Two hearts, four clubs, that bid is showing a 5-5 five, five shape in the spades and clubs. I won't spend much time talking about that, but um, there are a variety of bids in um, the Leaping Michael series. Some of them are over week two, some of them are over three level uh, preemptive opening bids. We can also um, overcall a no trump, which uh, shows 15 to 18 high card points of two hearts, two no trump, and, uh, and a stopper in their suit. Oh, here's another example, two spades, two no trump. We're promising 15 to 18 high card points and um, spades stopped. What constitutes spades being stopped? That's a judgment call. Um, would you do it with ace-jack third? Um, maybe. Would you do it with just ace-third? 
maybe. I'd feel better with two stoppers, ace king or ace queen, but um, whatever you consider a stopper, you need to have it. And then finally, we can make qubits of the uh, weak two bit. If we do that at the three level, such as two hearts from our right hand opponent, a three heart bid at this point could have one of two meanings depending on partnership agreement. Um, it's usually what's called a Western Q bid, which is asking partner to bid uh, three no trump with a heart stopper. But some people would play this as a Michael's Q bid, so it would be showing spades and, and an undisclosed minor. That's your choice. On the other hand, if it's a jump Q bid, if you make the Q bid at the four level, this is usually leaping Michael's again. So uh, a two heart bid on my right, four hearts for me is showing five five shape in the minors, for example. And if this bid was uh, two diamonds and I jumped to four diamonds, I'm showing five five shape in the majors. Thinking Michaels is um, an interesting topic, but it's not our main topic today. Um, so I'm not gonna spend much more time talking about it. Uh, one more thing I wanna say, coming back to um, this two no trump bid. There are two other ways to, um, for opener to understand two no trump. One is called August. August is a little bit like Blackwood in the sense that Blackwood has a series of uh, steps above the four no trump bid that show progressively um, better hands. That's also true with August. When, part, when you make a week two opening bid and partner bids two no trump, if you're playing August, um, three clubs says I have a weak hand and a weak suit. Three diamonds says I have a weak hand and a better suit. Uh, three Hearts would say I have a good hand with a bad suit, and good hand here means the maximum of good eight to ten, etc. That's one way to play this. And there's another form of August called modified August, where the answers are based on um, losing trick count rather than uh, rather than uh, points. So, for example, uh, uh, after two hearts, two no trump, with say um, eight losers, I would bid. I believe the bid there is three hearts. Uh, it's a system, if you're interested, you can look that up on the internet as well, modified August. Okay, that's it for today.